What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be picking up a new stingray for our pool pond. The other day I was at the aquarium shop and I saw a stingray. I talked to Andy for about an hour about this thing, asking if he thought it would be good for it. He told me a little details and facts about it. So after talking to him, we are good to go and have this stingray as our pet. So today we're going to head to the aquarium shop and pick him up. And we are here at the aquarium shop once again. Andy is always hooking it up. So if you guys have not been to the aquarium shop, I'm gonna have their link in the description down below. Definitely gotta come by here and check them out. They have some awesome stuff, but let's head in. All right, here we go, here we go. So as you guys saw last video, Andy got a whole bunch of new fish and invertebrates in. I think he just got some more in today, so we'll check those out. But something like I told you guys before picked up my eye, and that was this stingray. And I think this is the exact stingray that we have in the pool pond right now, the California ray. This guy's just a little smaller, but I think they'll get along fine. It is a big, big pond, and they have a lot of space for themselves. So I think this will be a pretty cool addition to the pond. What else do we got here? We got some cleaner shrimp. So we're kind of going to just go by the invertebrates. Oh my gosh, I think I just saw something. And he has a mantis shrimp. Oh my gosh. So we got a peacock mantis shrimp right here. Let's see if I can get a good look on him. He's not that pretty. He's more brown. He doesn't have too many colors on him. The one we got had a lot of colors on him. But this guy, not too many. And that's just how some of them come. Some will have a lot of colors, some won't. But I guarantee this thing is just as feisty as the one we have. We got some sea urchins, a long leg, leg lobster. What the? Just left Andy's, we got our stingray in this bag along with some silver sides because maybe if you guys are lucky enough, if you stay till the end, we'll do a little underwater GoPro feeding with the fish in the pool pond. So it's gonna be pretty epic, stay till the end. Also give this video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe right now. It's totally free, just hit that subscribe button. See you guys at the house. We are back home and we got our pool pond right here. Looking awesome. Let's see, anybody hungry? Anybody hungry? Oh yeah, somebody's hungry. We got a lionfish right there, we got a puffer fish over there in the corner. We got our nice emperor snapper right there. Well, we got a little huma. Bumblebees is chilling in his cave. Um, we got another lionfish right there, and then stingray, stingray. I see him right there. You can kind of see the shape of him and his eyeballs. But once we get some food in there later in the video, he's definitely going to come out and show around this guy. Oh, God. oh, whoa, buddy. We're going to get you some food in a second. And guys, this is not gonna be your ordinary feeding. We are gonna be doing an underwater feeding. So we're gonna take the GoPro, we're gonna set it up in a spot, and then watch the fish from underwater eat the baits. It's gonna be absolutely epic, so stay tuned for that. All right, so let's get a little close-up look on our Stingray, because we have not really got a look on him yet, so. He's a little smaller than our other one, but very, very pretty. Let's get him in this bucket. Let's slide right in there. Oh, perfect. So the same concept with all our animals. We're gonna do a drip line to acclimate him. We're gonna drop that in there. We'll give him about 30 minutes. As you see right now, the line is slowly dripping water from the pond into the bucket, allowing him to acclimate to the temperature and salinity. And now, we'll probably give him about 30 minutes and he should be good to go. Okay, 30 minutes later, our stingray looks pretty good. His, his color is definitely lightened up, which is a good sign just because when they're dark and stuff, they are stressed out. All right, here we go. It's time to add our new stingray to the pool pond. Oh, oh, I guess he wants to go back in the bucket. Huh. There he goes. Look at that. Now, I'm, are those the same, the same stingers? No way. I don't know. That one looks a lot different, right? Yeah, he's red. Yeah. So, um, guys, I, I didn't, I, I should have asked Andy. I think he said a southern ray. The one we have in there is a California, I'm pretty sure. So we got a southern and California ray. The one we found is a California ray, I'm almost 1,000% sure. And then the, the one we just bought is a southern ray. A lot darker. It kind of has like a pointier face. The one we caught has more of a round body. Definitely, definitely two different species. Because you, once he comes out, you'll see. So for some of you that don't know, we actually caught a stingray probably about a month ago and we caught it in a trap just at the same exact spot that we did the octopus where we caught the octopus and saw all the crabs. We are actually aiming to do a crab trap that day and ended up catching the stingray right there. You can't really see him once the pumps are off and we're feeding, he'll come out later on in the video. Stay tuned for that. That's definitely a different species. You guys know the exact name of him? Comment down below and let me know. You guys educate me just as much as I educate you, so yeah, I learned 
something new every day. I think we're gonna give him about 20 minutes. Miles is actually on his way home from work, and we're gonna get his reaction. He has no clue that I bought a stingray today. We're gonna get his reaction and see what he thinks of the new stingray. Also, 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 can't forget, comment down some names. We need to name all these fish in this pool pond. So comment down below. I want to see a list of names of the Emperor Snapper. We already have a name for the Bumblebee. His name is Bumblebee. But we need a name for our lionfish, our stingrays, our Huma Trigger, our eels. So comment down a list of the fish and then the name next to it. And let me know so we can get some names for our fish. Hey, bud. Yo. Come out to the garage real quick. The garage? Are you sweeping? Nah, this is a Swiffer. You never heard of it? it gets all your dust on debris and whatnot. We got a little surprise. Ah! All right. So, all right, all right. before I say anything, I'm gonna kind of let you scope around the pond. We definitely got a new fish. Yeah, you can smell it in there, huh? Yeah. 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 New fish here! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! We got a freaking buffer, didn't we? No, we did not get a puffer. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's gonna be hard to find. It wasn't a puffer. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm already it. I'm already I'm gonna tell you right now I've already found it, alright? <laughs> they call me someone like a really special, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. When Nick like brought me into the garage, I already smelt it, alright? So you did get another stingray. And how did you know? Alright, I'm gonna be honest with no, you. No, be honest reason. how you knew. Okay, the only reason I did know is because there's a freaking brown dot in your sand, bro. <laughs> and I've never seen that before. Because I know your other stingray is a little more pale. It's a little lighter. This one's brown and <laughs> Holy cow. You got yeah. another stingray? We got another stingray. It's not the same species as that one. It's actually like, it looks like um a shark. It has a pointy face. A pointy like a, short, face? a shark mixed with a stingray. They're called, um, it looks like a skate almost, but it's not. Ah, skatey bro. Oh! We're gonna be doing an underwater feeding with them soon. Okay, underwater. You want me to get in the pool pond? Um, like, do I get in with the mask? Mm, I didn't mean by like that kind oh. of. <laughs> okay, so what you guys have been waiting for? A little update on our stingray. It's been about two hours now. Um, let's see where he's at. I think he's right there. See his eyeballs? And then we have the eyeballs of our other one right there. You hungry, bud? Oh. Okay. But like I promised you guys, we're gonna be doing it with the GoPro today. Underwater feeding. Wait, watch the live fish, watch the live fish. Please don't let it come up. Please don't let it come up. Oh! Oh! Dude, this guy's gonna hit my no bro. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! oh my this thing is like a snake. Nick, this is the oh, scariest no. thing. This is the scariest thing I've ever oh, witnessed. No. <laughs> this is the scariest thing I've ever witnessed. Oh, oh, oh. This oh, no, it's sick. Oh my god. The snapper is insane. Wait, let me have you. Bumblebee, get the bumblebee. Get a shot of the bumblebee. Get a shot of the bumblebee. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You missed it. Oh! Not bad. Not bad. Holy cow, dude. That was oh insane. Jumping as soon as you Hey, alright. Close this, bro. Place in Claymore. Uh, what do you thought we were gonna do something? <laughs> 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 So the fish are definitely all full from the feeding we just did. Honestly, we just went and looked at the footage, and that footage was absolutely epic. Miles, what do you think about it, buddy? I was super new! If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below a name for our new stingray. He's chilling over there. Look at him. There we got a little puffer right here. Yeah. Little puffer right there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So there you got more food, buddy? Oh, 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 oh. Should we end it with a hand feeding from Mumblebee? All right, I think we'll do that. So yeah, we got a new Stingray. Make sure you guys comment down below some names for him. 
This is gonna be absolutely epic because now we have two of them swimming around the pond. We definitely have to do a live feeding in this pond soon because we have some we have some new fish that have never seen live food before. So I don't know what to expect with the Emperor Snapper. With that being said, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and if you're not already, subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on all this crazy content we are gonna be bringing to you guys. And with that being said, see ya. See ya. See ya.